Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. You can count on them. Some of your friends you gotta watch. That's the sad part. While you be looking for haters, some of them be closer than you fucking think. They'll be right there with you. Some of them is clapping right now. Look at them, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> they be hating quiet. They don't hate loud, they hate quiet. Like every time you say you're gonna do something good with your life, they gotta make a little noise. Little sound effect, did you? Man, I'm gonna get my shit together. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, they gonna hate. They got to. They don't have no choice. They gotta hate. Jesus was perfect. He only had 12 friends. One of them was a hater. Sat right at the table with him. Jesus was cool. He didn't even say nothing to him. I'd have been Jesus. I'd have fronted them all first chance I got. Just you gonna sit at my table, Judas? <laughs> Put some water on the ground. Do you see me walking on water, Judas? I turn you into a frog in this space. They gon' hate you. Just gotta take it. You gotta take it. They, they not mad at us. We think they hate us. They don't hate us. They hate good shit. They used to want good shit. Hope for good shit. Then good shit didn't happen to them. And now these motherfuckers hate good shit. They don't hate us. They mad now because they got a raggedy car. They looking at the nigga in the Escalade like he made a fucked up decision. They just... <laughs> what the fuck he got six TVs for in there? It ain't even six motherfuckers in there. Don't you worry about it, raggedy bitch. Figure out how to get that duct tape off your tail light. Mind your goddamn business in 2007, bitch. Nigga, this shit right here, nigga? Some of y'all was expecting to hear some jokes from the Pimp Crosses Part 1, but I don't feel right charging y'all motherfuckers money to see some shit you already saw for free. Oh, boy, so bear with them. a motherfucker. 2007 in this bitch. Life is too short for bullshit. <laughs> Tell you, you gonna only care about your kids, your friends, your family, and the person you're in a relationship with. Ladies, y'all are in charge of all relationships with us men. You know that. So get on your fucking job. Yeah, even you, ma'am. Yes, please. <laughs> she had Tourette. She just hollered out shit for no reason. 98! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying, ladies, if you're in a relationship, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Y'all can't keep talking shit about men. Make up your mind. You either with us or you ain't. Getting tired of women walking around talking shit, talking about fuck niggas, niggas ain't shit. But bitch, you need to either get you a girlfriend or shut the fuck up and join the goddamn game. Shit. It's your relationship, ladies. It's your relationship. Some of y'all are being greedy. Some of y'all out there looking for 100% good nigga. And let me just tell you, I had a meeting with all these niggas in attendance tonight. And we, we established there is no such a nigga. So stop looking for the motherfucker. And if we did have that nigga, he wouldn't want your motherfucking ass. He'd be looking for 100%. Ain't no perfect people, ladies. And sometimes you set the sights too high and don't give niggas no credit. Some of y'all done had 98% good niggas. 98%. And you got rid of them niggas for two fucking percent. 98% good. Niggas went to work, made a check, brought it back, shared it with you, put gas in the car, didn't beat on you, took care of your kids better than his own kids. He can't even see his kids. He rubbing your son's hair and putting his backpack on in the mornings. You done got rid of that nigga for 2%. Now, right now, you sitting in here with a 71% nigga, hoping he upgrade. Look at you, you can't even clap because he look at you. <laughs> Just saying, ladies, you got to be happy. How the fuck you going to have a 98% good nigga and you got rid of that nigga for 2% because he cheated on you a little funky 2%. You, oh, what, it's different now? Ladies like, nigga, that's a big two, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> the fellas is with me. Please make this work, nigga. Please. please. <laughs> what you gonna do, nigga? Please. <laughs> Just gotta understand, ladies, shit is complicated. <laughs> Part of your responsibility in a relationship is making sure your man don't cheat. 
Help the nigga out. You know niggas lose focus. We easy to lose focus. We just want to work and play and fucking eat. And not necessarily in that order. Because if a nigga can fuck, we ain't even hungry. We just, mm-mm, I ate yesterday. I'm good. Just give a nigga a tic-tac or something. Just... Ladies, it's time to do some new shit. If you're in a relationship and you want to keep the relationship, you got to do certain things to keep raggedy bitches off your man. If you suck our dick in the car, we'll drive 500 miles in the most awkward position ever. Just... <laughs> Just saying, ladies. You knew how powerful it was. You, I, you have to do it. I, look, ladies, let's just try something out. Just tonight after the show, just suck your niggas dick in the car on the way to the house and see. Look at the fellas. Yes. Just try it, ladies, and see if your relationship don't change in the morning. Just see. When you wake up, that nigga gonna be fully dressed with a hammer. Just how you doing, baby? You okay? I built you a porch right by the bed because... The driveway right there in the bathroom. Just take a bath and <laughs> tell you, ladies. I know some of y'all ladies don't like doing it. You think head lacks the intimacy and then you miss the bond and shit. Some ladies don't like it psychologically. They don't like having to do this to a nigga. Get on their knees in front of a nigga. They just called a dirty son of a bitch 45 minutes ago. <laughs> ladies, if that's your problem, tell that to your man. See if that nigga don't try to help the relationship and pull a step ladder right in the middle of the living room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's much better. Look at that. <laughs> Got your posture all up and shit. I appreciate that. Just saying, ladies. Some of y'all just don't understand what it do for us. Like, some of y'all ladies think it's a pussy replacement. Here, it ain't no pussy replacement. I think I speak for all real niggas when I say there's no such thing as a pussy replacement. Pussy is at the top of the list. But head is important, too. See, pussy is like an oven in the kitchen. It's the best shit ever. You put a ham in it and some biscuits and some vegetables, and in an hour and 35 minutes, you have a home-cooked meal. Everybody want a home-cooked meal. But head is like a microwave. Yeah. Sometimes a nigga ain't got an hour and 35 minutes to be fucking with your ass. Sometimes a nigga need a hot pocket right now. <laughs> Thank you. 30 seconds, beep. Thank you. Just say it, ladies. If you don't suck your man's dick, there's a raggedy bitch who will, and we got the bitch's number. Handle your motherfucking business. You're laughing at us. Saying, like we gotta. Life is crazy. Work on yourself. Stop worrying so much about what people think about you and figure out what the fuck you think about you. That's the most important shit. Ladies, ladies, you can learn that from niggas. As niggas, we get over ourselves quick. Like, if a nigga got a flaw, especially if it's physical, we get over it quick. Like, at 13, we get past the shit. Like, nigga, I think I got a big nose. No. <laughs> yep, it's a big nose. That's it. <laughs> Ladies, y'all be worried about it, trying to change who the fuck you are. Don't be doing that shit. It's, you got to be happy about whoever the fuck you are. If you a big woman, just be a big, fly-ass, fine-ass, rich woman and let that be it. Stop trying to be a skinny bitch all your life. It may not be for you. You don't believe me? Look at Star Jones' motherfucking ass. She did the surgery to lose all the weight. They didn't tell her they couldn't take the fat out of her motherfucking head. So now she walking around with a Rottweiler head on the dopamine pincher body trying to be cute. That bitch fell off the view. Should have been fucking happy. Life too short for you to be that hard on your motherfucking self. If you fuck up with me, I'm gonna make you feel good about it. I don't give a fuck you got stretch marks. I'm gonna tell you why I'm fucking you how much I like it. Just don't you even worry about that, baby. You look like a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> I love tigers, I really do. That's why I be growling at you sometimes. Just rawr. <laughs> Show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it, ladies. Gotta work. Niggas, we got so much work to fucking do. It ain't even fun. Shut up, ladies. Yeah. For good wait. Yep, it's their turn. Hustling, 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 hustling.